Well, according to the Monroe County Board of Elections, nearly 75% of eligible voters voted on Election Day or in the run-up. That includes early voting and absentee ballots. Kayla Green spoke with commissioners about the voting process and how the results are far from final at this point. The elections commissioners say everything went pretty smoothly at poll sites across the county. Now all eyes are on counting the 96,000 absentee ballots and thousands of affidavit ballots needed to complete this final count. The Board of Elections will begin researching those absentee ballots today to make sure only one vote counts. On November 16th, absentee ballots will be opened and counted. Republican Elections Commissioner Lisa Nicolay says they didn't receive many complaints from voters aside from what they call normal issues such as a voter saying they're registered and are not, or showing up at the wrong polling site and being redirected. Nicolay says while absentee ballots lean Democrat, she doesn't think that means much for final results. I think if I know the electorate in Monroe County, um, people tend to not necessarily vote on party line. They tend to vote for individuals. So um, I guess if there's an overwhelming number of, of one party that has an, a number of ballots that they've requested, then probably it would lean that way. But I would never... Um, anticipate that that just Democrats vote for just Democrats and, and Republicans for Republicans because that's typically not what we see here. It's important to note that all of this is standard procedure. It's just more significant this year because of the volume of absentee ballots. Both commissioners say it's important people understand this process to know that their vote counts. In Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8. And we'll have more on that research process coming up later today here on News 8.